it's Scott here from Digital Puppets and this is video 3 of Advanced um, Parallax and I'm going to keep it really quick this one is in regards to layer picker now I do actually have puppets that have got all their facial features using this um, behaviour but unfortunately I can't share that one because it was for a client and you got um, you know contrast that you sign and whatnot but I do have this character and there is one part of it so if you look at the basically the way that you can use layer picker for a more advanced parallax is that in the previous video in video 2 I showed that when you turn your head um, you can fire a pre-made animation and use cycle layers so if you've got like a nose and then you turn your head and head turner activates the cycle layer and then it just animates but you've got no control over how fast or slow you cycle through that action but if you use layer picker and it's tracking your face if you look at the hair here in fact if I just go into rig mode for a second you can see I've got about six frames there of the perspective of the hair slightly changing now originally I did have that as well for the hat um, but ultimately I made a choice that with the hat I didn't need in fact for the hat I've got um, step one from the first video which ultimately I've got nose parallax added to the hat so there's um, the hat is a combination of video one and video two so I've got nose parallax and I've got head turn on it so as I turn my head the hat is flicking back and forth and you've got some movement on it because of the parallax so you get that element of you know movement for the hair as you can see here the perspective on the front is like that and then it opens up more and if I slightly move my head you can see that it is cycling through the layers as I move my head now that's very subtle but let's say if you've got a nose and you want it like my nose now you want it to go from straight on and then you want it to go to a you know the side view but you want to slowly turn then you can take this same approach what you would need to do is first of all animate the nose and then animate it from this position and turn it don't have any ease in or out you want it to be a linear you know straight turn in the animation and then when you bring it into character animator let's just find the hair so you can see here I've got the behavior added of um, layer picker and then I've got all my layers there and then if we go back into here we'll just have a look at the settings so I renamed it to layer picker hair so you can see it's going off of my camera input it's going off of my head Y axis and then index is just going off of the first one and then you know moving along and um, camera strength is at 100 but you could play around with that I suppose it depends on how many different layers you got you know like if I had lots and lots of layers I might not want it to like zoom right through all the layers so you know I might want to turn down the strength or turn it depends every puppet's different so it is a case of playing around with it but yes a combination of head turn um, adding a face and nose parallax and a pre-made animation that you apply layer picker to so that you can use your head y-axis to slowly go through this gives you the ability to really create very advanced um, parallax and facial turns in Adobe Kata Animator so instead of going for Kata Animator's head turn where there's a couple of reasons why you might want to use my approach because if you've got the head turn number one it's a it's a hard cut but more importantly Every time you have a head turn, you've got to duplicate, you know, the head build. And that is causing the size of your file to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas if you just, you know, use the nose, the hair, maybe the jaw, 
shape you know if you've got a, a pointy chin and you want that chin to you know the shape of the face to change as the face turns you can use this approach the layer picker approach for all of those so anyway like i said just a very quick video hopefully that helps if you have any questions just get in touch bye